say a review of uh, last night's terrific show, which was uh, Bigfoot Busters um, with uh, Tim and Chuck. It was a great show. I really enjoyed it. Um, the guest was the one and only Robert W. Morgan, and just, of course, tremendous guest, as always. Um, he talked quite a bit about his research into the Sasquatch or the forest giant, the Bigfoot. Um, he talked about um, how he had attempted at one time to get a grant. He attempted to perhaps get a grant to search for the Sasquatch from, uh, from, the, from the government. And a congressman or a senator um, said, Morgan, come come take a walk with me. And they walked around the mall in Washington, Washington, D.C. And the congressperson or senator or whatever uh, told Robert, you know, Robert, here's the thing. We would be glad to give you this grant if it weren't for the religious uh, aspect of things. Every religious group if it were found out this thing was real and it was human or a prototype of a human, every religious group would go crazy. They would run us out of, out of town. They would run us out of office. Every single religious group in this country would, uh, would run us out of office. And uh, that was one of the things that uh, Morgan kind of learned in his journey. Um, Robert was also asked about uh, the Patterson Gimlin film and what his what his thoughts were on it, and he said that yes, he believes it's authentic, and the main reason he thinks it's authentic is because um, his adopted father, Nino Cochise, who was the last Chiricahua Apache born free, the the last chief actually. Actually, told him when when he when 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 Cochise saw the film, and realized the implications of what was in it. Uh, Nino said, "Well, a lot of people are probably wondering why she only walks away. Well, here's the reason: the reason she walks away is to distract and to take uh, and, and to and to protect uh, Patterson and Gimlin from her baby." And Morgan claims that you can actually see <clears throat> what appears to be a figure standing in the um, standing in the uh, in the in the tree line, grasping a grasping a tree. And it, and he figures that this might be the baby Sasquatch, or this might be the baby that Patty was attempting to protect uh, Patterson and Gimlin from. And, um, I mean, Nino said, well, that's, that's always a possibility. <clears throat> that's most likely the reason. Anyway, um, and also, Robert talked about the Sierra Sounds. How he had heard in the Sierra Sounds the, 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 the um, the, 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 the words, you're not welcome. And he brought this up to Ron Moorhead. Ron Moorhead said, are you crazy? Are you nuts? I don't think that's in there. But eventually, Ron Moorhead heard, listened to it, and he heard it as well, which I found interesting. So, um, what eventually happened was that, uh, you know, of course, it proves, it doesn't prove anything, obviously, but it's, it's quite interesting, and uh, Robert talked also about um, some of the things he's experienced in the field, um, he took several questions from uh, chatters, including from Bill Green. Bill Green asked uh, Robert about his opinion of M.K. Davis's work on the Patterson Gimlin film, and uh, there was silence on the end of the line from Robert. And uh, Robert said, "Yeah, that's my opinion of the work of M.K. Davis on the Patterson Gimlin film." And then um, Bill asked the standard question, and there was also silence on that. Robert just kind of said, "No, I'm just kidding. No, no, it's actually." Um, Actually, I'm st I'm still active. I'm still working in the field and things like that. Um, and um, also, I got to call in. And I asked Robert two questions. I asked him first, um, 
does he stay in contact with some of his former um, uh, expedition members, and expedition uh, compatriots? And he said, yes, he does. He still stays in contact with, uh, he just spoke with uh, Michael Palestic not too long ago. He just received an email from Eliza Mormon. Uh, if anybody's ever seen Robert's uh, movie, In Search of Bigfoot, which has also been incorporated into Bigfoot Man or Beast, uh, you will see that he had uh, a Michael Palesnik and also um, Eliza Mormon on his expedition with him. And um, also he talked about uh, an interesting meeting with, uh, with, with he and John Green and Renee DeHinden, which was documented in that movie, in which uh, Renee DeHinden said he would go out and shoot a Sasquatch if he saw one that he would have no hesitation in doing so. And, uh, you know, Morgan, he just kind of, his whole thing was, you know, you can't work with, uh, you can't work with DeHinden and, and Green because they're so, you know, pro-kill, or at least DeHinden was at the time. Um, DeHinden since, had since uh, softened his stance and changed his mind about, uh, well, he had in recent years before his passing, referring to Renee. Uh, but anyway, and I asked him, you know, he, of course, he, he, and I also asked him, um, about the dowsing aspect, uh, there was a fellow that he worked with back in the 70s named John Shelley, uh, and John Shelley was a dowser, dowsers are, are those, y'all probably, y'all probably familiar, you know, like water dowsers, you know, they have, uh, uh like a forked stick, or they have two coat hangers, or something like that. They they managed to point them in different directions, and um, I asked Rob. I asked Robert. You know, had he ever worked with any other dowsers since John Shelley? He said he had worked with six of them, and he said none of them were as were, were, were had nearly as much success as John Shelley did. So I found that quite fascinating. Um, he answered several questions from the chat room. Um, he also answered, uh, let's see, Shane McMahon called in and was having a discussion with Robert. Um, I, I'd already left the show before Shane got going too much. But um, anyway, it was a great show. I really enjoyed it. Um, the, the, the next show will be next Sunday for Bigfoot Busters. Don't know what they have planned. It'll begin at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash Bigfoot. Uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful show. It's always great to hear Robert W. Morgan. And, uh, of course, it was very fortuitous seeing as how I had just finished reading Soul Snatchers and I'm rereading it. And I'm currently rereading uh, the Bigfoot Observer's Field Manual. And, of course, I also have the CD of the Bigfoot Observer's Field Manual. So uh, I thought that was a pretty great pretty great thing to hear hear Robert W. Morgan again. It's always a pleasure to hear the, hear the man. I mean, as far as when it comes to legends in the Bigfoot field, he is. He's one. He is one. He's a legend. Uh, also, let's see. As far as upcoming blog talk shows this week, um, coming up tonight on MNBRT Radio, Abe and uh, Shane McMahon, interestingly enough, will be co-hosting uh, MNBRT Radio, and uh, their guest will be J.C. Johnson of Crypto Four Corners. It'll begin at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash MNBRT. Um, and then, let's see, Wednesday night, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure the gray area is going to be back on Wednesday night uh, at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash the gray area. I don't know what Melissa and Monica have planned for that show, but that's when it's going to be on. Uh, but I do know that uh, Bigfoot Truth and Lies will be airing on Wednesday night with Hawk and Frog. And that will begin at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash Bigfoot Truth and Lies. And their guest will be Eric Altman of the Pennsylvania Bigfoot Society. And, of course, a good buddy of mine, by the way. Good buddy of mine, Mr. Eric Altman. And um, <coughs> he'll be the guest. Um, and then next Sunday, uh, Night Callers will be returning. And uh, they'll have as their guest singer-songwriter Lenny Green, who can be found at www.bigfootsong.com. Um, he's written several great Bigfoot songs, uh, all of which are on his website and available 
you know, to listen to. And um, he'll be the guest, 7 Eastern, 6 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash nightcallers. And then Steve and uh, Chris will be back next Sunday, www.blogtalkradio.com slash the Squash Detective, Squash Detective Radio, um, 8 Eastern, 7 Central. <coughs> I think I did mention Bigfoot Busters. Also, 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash TCSJRBigfoot. Um, now, Hawk and uh, Hawk and Frog are, are having their last Wednesday night show this upcoming Wednesday. Then they're going to move to uh, Tuesday nights in a few weeks. And they'll, they'll, they'll start their show at 7 Eastern, 6 Central um, in a few weeks. So uh, be listening for that. And as always, we do encourage you to please tune in and support great research. Now, upcoming this week on Sci-Fi, there's going to be a double shot of... Uh, Harry Hominids on Thursday night, this Thursday night, um, starting at uh, 9 Eastern, 8 Central on Destination Truth, they're going to search for the Siberian Snowman, or the, their equivalent of a Harry Hominid. Um, that'll begin at 9 Eastern, 8 Central on Sci-Fi, and then immediately following at 10 Eastern, 9 Central on Beast Legends, they're going to examine the Wild Man of Vietnam, the Nagoi Rung. Um, and by the way, two Harry Hominids, not Kane and the Undertaker. <laughs> That's Friday night. They come on Friday night on SmackDown. Seeing as how SmackDown has now moved to sci-fi. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's just a bad joke. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, the, the, check your local listings for time and channel on uh, the sci-fi. For sci-fi. Uh, now, uh, the upcoming uh, series, the, the pilot is... is the series is being shot as we speak. The series for Animal Planet from BFRO called Sasquatch the Ultimate Hunt, which features uh, Matt Moneymaker, James Bobo Fay, Cliff Berrickman, and uh, a biologist from Seattle. I don't remember her name, but she's a biologist from Seattle, and she was involved in the when they went to Alaska back in, I think, July to film up there. So, um,. Anyway, and also upcoming sometime will be on A and E. The A and E Network will be Bob Saget's Strange Days, and they'll have the segment that he filmed with the BFRO and with uh, adjunct members of the BFRO. Um, I'm not sure when that will air. It's already October, and they were they were saying possibly late summer, early fall. It is early fall, so I'm not really sure when that program will air, but I will let you all know when I get the information. Uh, also on the uh, Animal Planet BFRO series. And I'll let you all know right here. And also, of course, John Bendernagel's new book is available for pre-order. It's not quite available from the publishers just yet. Uh, John is saying mid-October. Uh, you can go to beachcomberbooks.com to find more information about the discovery of the Sasquatch, the new book from John Bendernagel. Uh, you can also, you can order the book from there, but you can also order the book personally from John Bendernagel. You can order an autographed copy of it from Dr. Bendernagel. Uh, you just email him at johnb at island.net. So uh, that's the latest crypto news and uh, crypto programming, crypto books, things of that nature. And uh, we'll catch you guys another time. See you later, guys.